Hello, Greybeard here, and welcome to my channel. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm already a little bit pooped. <laughs> I was trying to make the video shorter, so I rode out to this far. If you uh, watch too many of my videos, or very many of them anyway, this is halfway out the road to where we usually go out to the park. Anywho, um, whew. I wanted to see how this bike does going up into the park and uh, let y'all see it as I do it. And uh, so let's get this video started. But before I do, make sure you're still subscribed if you have already subscribed. If you like the video, hit the like. If not, lie to me. <laughs> hit it anyway. And uh, subscribe and share the crap out of it. Here we go. Yeah, I'm already feeling the burn in my legs. Because I gave us about a five mile head start on this uh, run. You see where it's at? It's 70.8 miles. It was at, uh, huh, I'm trying to think. I want to say it was at 57 when he started the last one and ended on 65 something. Uh, did like eight miles or so on the last run. And this is the same charge. I haven't charged it since before the last ride. So, uh, we've already put 13 or so miles on it. So far on this ride, I haven't used the throttle at all. I've pedaled <coughs> with the pedal assist, of course. Where's you out? Never gets old. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing that mountain. My head's a little higher than the camera is. I know it makes a lot of road noise when I, or wind noise when I turn the camera sideways, but. Just trying to get the shot in. Woo! I smell cow doo doo. The bugs. I have to say though, they haven't been that bad this year. So I'm feeling pretty lucky on that. I feel like I got something up in my eye. Which is weird, I'm using my riding chains. Woo! I know to most of y'all that's just a hill, but it's called Re East River Mountain. Technically, like I can say it's not tall enough to be a mountain even though for hundreds of years they've been calling it a mountain <laughs> Whew, we're almost at the end of this road where you turn to there's a 460 up ahead now usually on my scooter or even back when I rode the mini bikes I just get on the exit and get off the West Graham there and this is where I usually get my highest top end speed. On this, I doubt it's going to be much different than any top speed I've got on it so far. So this re relies on pedal power. And like I say, I'm already kind of pooped. <laughs> Time was 55 through here, now it's 65 or 60, I think. I can't remember. I hardly ever go out this way in my car. Or truck, whatever. Woohoo! 
but we're already almost at the park. Very pretty out here. Let's go ahead and push the throttle. First time I hit it on this ride. a little bit it was only saying 27 we're going into the wind too though but I'm trying to save my pedal power for up this hill here that we're fixing to go up the power we'll go down a couple notches Let me go up one. I'm thinking there's something I'm gonna have to adjust down there around the chain somewhere because I could hear something like shing 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 shing. <clears throat> I don't know if you pick it up on the camera or not on the volume. I mean, you know, audio. <clears throat> That's the cool thing about this bike here, man. Regular bike, you'd be really earning it going up this hill. <clears throat> Not saying I ain't earning it a little bit, but uh, it makes it a lot easier. I'm in high gear. Went down into fifth, I guess. Beautiful up here though. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm pooped. Totally pooped. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the the highway we just narrowly avoided going on that exit. That's the cars going up and down it. I'm trying to catch my breath here. Gorgeous though. And I got a drone, but it's not like a, a very expensive drone or nothing. Got like a 720p camera on it. I thought about bringing it out here and seeing how high it'll go. And if the video would come out halfway decent. Woo! I was gonna try to go around here, but uh, uh -oh. I didn't realize how tight this is. Like I say, I used to weed eat out here. Don't want to mess up my fresh J's. 
Another way this uh, electric motor helps. <laughs> Put it down in one and ease my way out. Looks like somebody has been down through here. I don't know if it's been on bicycles or what. But I usually come up into the parking lot and take you up this little road here. It leads you right here. Whew. The bug hitching right on my fender. Whew. Yeah. It's always beautiful up here though. That's why I'm surprised not so many people come to this park. I mean, there, there was people there, but you go to the park in the Bluefield, West Virginia, and there's people everywhere. And this park here is just way prettier. It's beautiful. Yeah, my butt's feeling it. <laughs> Whew. Like a butterfly or moth or what? Yeah, they need to trim this foliage back. This pass is becoming useless. Woohoo! Woohoo! That suspension, that full suspension helps. There's hardly anybody out here. It's Saturday afternoon, man. Of course it is. Getting closer to supper time. Five-ish or whatever. 527, I guess. Yeah, it's getting closer to supper time. In this grab, I figured I'd knock it down to two and... crawl although I probably should have left it at three because now I'm really working <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous view gorgeous gorgeous Can't beat it. Back up to five. But yeah, I figured I'd uh, see what it was like taking this bike up into the park. I'm not uh, disappointed. speed going down some of them hills in town <laughs> I think one time if you watch a couple of them videos ago about three videos back maybe four uh, I got like 36 37 going down one of them city streets although that's a pretty good size hill there and like I say when I took off I hit throttle but I let off as soon as I got going down that city street, I was holding the throttle down. We're kind of going uphill, that's why we're only doing 24. And I'm 
not pedal. My butt. <laughs> I do wish this seat was a little more flat. I believe it would, if it wasn't rounded off, it'd probably be a little more comfortable. I mean, it looks cool rounded off. I forgot. I, I, oops, I hit the horn. <laughs> Uh, I think that switch is upside down, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it is. See, the horn's upside down. I just noticed that. Never really paid much attention to it. But, uh, done forgot what I was talking about. That happens a lot if you ain't noticed. <laughs> the joys of getting older. Luckily, on both sides of my family, I don't recall anybody, you know, or hearing of anybody getting dementia or Alzheimer's. Hawk, that's some kind of ricer though. I'm thinking Kawasaki, but I'm not sure. Don't pay a whole lot of attention to those. It's a big one though. Ain't no shame in one either. It's all in your preference. Silverado. Cool looking truck. And so far, we got about 16 miles on this charge. Now this is through hilly terrain. And a lot of throttle. I didn't do much at the beginning of this trip before I put it on, you know, put the camera on. But most time I'm hitting throttle. If not, you know, the pedal assist is still like throttle, but with pedal. <clears throat> and to be honest, once you get started, you know, get going after pedaling off on pedal assist especially if you're in level five once you get up there you're just ghost pedal and you're not really helping push it much if at all somebody's either got a fire going or a fire in their fireplace i would hope not in their fireplace it's uh 70 some degrees supposed to be 73 feels great cool air while you're going down the road just gray <clears throat> I do well I don't plan on it but I'm debating on whether to thinking next year so you can tell where the sweeper's been going around cars but uh debating on whether to uh add another uh, electric system to this bike and what i mean is we got a thousand watt motor on the back and i thought about trying to find a 750 or a thousand watt motor set up with the same spoke to wheel and everything to match for the front and have it on two separate systems and that way like i wanted to try to see if uh like going up a hill if you push both of them on would this sucker climb the hill without even having to pedal <laughs> that's a thought now on the downside of that <clears throat> these motors actually do cause a slight drag so if you're just trying to pedal this bike without the power on uh, you're going to have like I say some drag and uh, if you add another motor it's going to add a little more drag I'm 
not dry, <laughs> I'm not thinking about that. And the reason why I say that is uh, I plan on using the power. <laughs> I ain't gonna try to pedal this thing around with two motors on it and not be using them. When I worked out at the park, I used to turn off down that way and that's where the public works uh, area is. I mean, they have an office in the town hall, but that's where we all met up. That's where all the trucks are parked and all that. This is one of the grade schools in uh, Bluefield, Virginia. I don't know what grades it is. Um, it's some kind of elementary. But the junior high and high is out there. I've shown you their high school. Junior high is right near there. I still need to check out the wiring on this front brake. So you can hear it buzz. Someone in the comments mentioned it was probably something like a bad connection. I'm hoping that's all it is. Oh uh, yeah, that's not good. Not for a biker. Yeehaw. That's another cool thing about these bikes. Let's say you buy this bike. I bought it for $11.99.99. And uh, it's normally $14.99.99. I got it on sale. Free shipping. I think Polarna has free shipping on all their bikes. And like I say, I paid for it myself. I'm not paid to tell you anything. Wished I were, but I'm not. But, um, let's say you have this bike a year and the motor goes out. You don't have to buy a par and a motor. <laughs> Most of these uh, setups have the same plug connections and everything. Not all of them. I'm not saying all of them, but you, you know, you do your research and everything, you can find another motor that'll uh, plug into it and work. And uh, they all about the same. A lot of them's from the same manufacturers. They just got different names on them. A lot of these companies will tell you in-house they build their own motors, this, that, and the other, but chances are they're all made in the same two or three factories that they have over in China. Like this is very very enjoyable and I say I'm older if I was young this seat probably wouldn't bother me at all I remember when I was young them old banana seats we had back in the 70s when I was little shoot that seat didn't bother me at all and that sucker was like sitting on his handle grip And a lot of BMX type bikes I had, mountain bikes, them didn't have a whole lot of cushion in them. <laughs> trying to avoid traffic. I think I scared that person trying to back up. <laughs> Oopsie. See, in Bluefield, Virginia, 
they keep their sidewalks clear. I used to, like I say, work out at the park, and then after that, I was on the street crew, and part of that was uh, clearing off the sidewalks and stuff like that. So we had to go through here with weed eaters, and they, and they constantly have a, a weed eater crew, which is part of the street crew, go around and keep these sidewalks cleared off where people can walk. I think I just saw a nail. These tires ain't cheap. Of course, this tire would probably be okay. It's the tube. <clears throat> I can say, whew, something's dead. <clears throat> Almost tasted that. Ugh. Anywho, uh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> it's a little aggravating too. Yeah, I thought about getting another system though to help. There's a bike you can buy, and I was very, very much want to get it too. It was a 2,000 watts, two 1,000 watt motors. And it had it set up to where you could just run one motor or both motors. I can't remember how many amp hours the battery setup had. I'm debating. This is that really, 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 really steep hill with the scooter. Very much does not like going up. go up it I need to get me a breather mm. fingers are going numb I didn't think I'd make it up. <laughs> I was a hoping. Phew. If I was in better shape, maybe. <clears throat> this is quite a hill, though. Like I say, my legs are already tired from doing all this pedaling let's see 79 i've already gone 12 miles <coughs> i want to say let's see i think it was 12 miles like i said i did five or six or so before i turned on the camera ah. my left butt talk I ain't happy And see, once you get up past this really steep part, it's still uphill for quite a ways. Huh. I'll get going here in just a second. Whew. Whew. I got her down in one, though. Yeah, my left buttock and back part of my thigh, hamstring, whatever you want to call it, is feeling it. Yeah. I'm hoping. Oh, a little skippage there. This ain't near as bad as that steep part, though, you see. Whew. 
I don't know how it looks on camera. But I'd say we're at a, at least a 20% grade, maybe 30. If you go way back into my videos. Actually, I don't think I did put that on video. I rode the little mini up through here. I had to push it up that hill after going so far, just like I did then. Whew. And Yeah, it did not want to go up this hill at all. That's because it's got that centrifugal clutch and it don't, you know, taking off on a hill, it just don't have the balls. Big Mini don't care. Big Mini go up that hill and keep going. It slows down to about between 13 and 16 and then it picks back up again, going up the hill. With the stage one. Like I say, I do plan on trying to find some place. We're almost at the peak. Well, actually, we are at the peak. It's about flat right here. As you can see, I'm not keeping those speed coasting. And here's where it breaks. We're not far from where I live. Woohoo! Now I hope this video wasn't too boring. I enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoy watching. Going down hills is, is pretty fun. Woohoo! Really on this bike I might ought to think about some elbow pads and whatnot. I don't know if I've ever went. Yeah, I have gone down this hill on this bike. I think it was only just that one time that uh that I uh went up at a certain amount and didn't, didn't turn around. Woohoo! 33. This is a quite a lot more of a hill than that one coming out of the park. Plus like a, well I wasn't even hitting the throttle on this one. I just coasted. I didn't hit the throttle at all. Yeah, I might invest in some brake pads because I think these hills will probably murder on these uh these hills will probably murder on these little pads. See yeah, I figure these pads ain't but like this wide and this you know long. Like a one and a half by one and a half or something like that. Pads that you know area. They're not big at all. I can show you when I get off. Skirt. There's East River again. Of course, it doesn't matter where you go around here, you're right near East River. You know, this town's basically in the valley of it. Uh, there's one picture you ought to look up if you're into, you know, scenery. And, you know beautiful pictures and junk like that is uh just type in fog over east river mountain and google it it's beautiful and that town you see at the bo bottom of that picture is this town there it is some more Beautiful place to live. Houses are kind of old and everything. There's not a whole lot of high paying jobs around here. I'm not saying there aren't any. I've got a son that's probably doing pretty good. Of course, it's not just education, it's going into the right education for what you need to uh, 
maximize what you've invested in your education. Because you can go to a four-year college for all kinds of stuff and turn out not being able to use it for much of anything. keep wanting to hit a turn signal and there's no turn signals on this bike <laughs> but we're here don't know how long this video has been hopefully it hasn't been too long that's why I wanted to come out a ways before I started it oh, yeah woohoo 81.1 started out at uh of course like i say i rode a few miles before maybe i didn't hit the right buttons there we go rode a five or so miles before i turned the camera on you can look at my last video what it ended up at i want to say it was at 67 oh no it was at 65, that's right. When I started on the last video, it was at 57. And like I say, you have these bikes, you turn it off up underneath the selector switch and always make sure you reach down here and turn off your battery. Yeah, it's showing at 43 max. That was the last time I rode on the, on the scooter. Trying to get this thing to there we go yeah this phone holder it's not an expensive one but it's great Whew. Whew. I'm plum tuck it I tell you yeah I hope you enjoyed this video let me show you the uh, brakes on this thing you can see the pads in there I'd say they're not very big or just you might have two inches of pad there if you're lucky on each side and there's not a whole lot of thickness to them either yeah i might look into buying a couple extra sets just in case you know i hope they're easy to change out looks like you can just slide them out if you yeah it looks like a little take that screw out right there and i think you can just pull them right out that's cool it's like racing tech man on a street bike but anyways yeah hope you liked the video if you did please hit the like button and say if you've already subscribed make sure you're still subscribed because there's a lot of people getting bumped off and not even realizing it. like if you're not a avid watcher which i hope you become one but you know i won't hold it against you if you ain't but uh i do uh, ask that you do watch as many videos as you could helps me out and uh, I'm struggling here. Anywho, yeah, a lot of people's getting knocked off, and then uh, they'll go to watch a video and they'll think, you know, I, it's been a month or so since I've seen this guy's video show up on YouTube or so. And sometimes with me, it's that, that is the case. But a lot of times it ain't. Like I say, you got some of these big channels that's got, you know, several hundred thousand or a million or so subscribers, and people are getting knocked off. I don't know what causes it. I'm not saying anybody's to blame or whatever. But uh, just yeah, make sure you're still subscribed if you if you uh, had already subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for all notifications and go to my channel. Go to my channel. I got this probably makes about 122 videos or so. It's up there around that, and uh, they go back all the way to. 2019 yeah 2019 i've been making videos for four years now and uh probably should have started earlier <clears throat> but uh that's when i got the big mini i got the big mini and i planned on doing a bunch of minis and i planned on hopefully starting to make minis i'd love to do that but anyways then i found this one on sale at rural king for 249.99 they no longer sell them. And Monster Moto, as far as I know, is no longer a thing. Uh, I think you can go to Go Power Sports and buy them, but uh, just that frame of Go Power Sports will cost double what I paid for it. Just the rolling chassis, or whatever you want to call it. 
You can go look it up on uh, the Ghost Power Sports. They're a good company. I mean, they got all the parts you need. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, uh, that's a little steep for me. When, when Royal King could sell them for $249 for the whole bike motor and everything. And it's been a good one, too. I love riding that thing. That thing is fun. Now, if you're going to go through some hills and stuff like that and rip it up, if you're 100 pounds or less, that thing might do it. But if you're like me, two bucks and a quarter, you might want something more like that. That'll get you up hills and stuff, especially if you throw a stage one on it. And like I say, I plan on getting a ghost. Anyways, hit the like button, please. Subscribe, hit the bell, share the crap out of it. Hope you enjoyed.